So earlier I had this good idea. And by good idea, I mean it was a really bad idea and you should probably never do this ever. I was thinking, hey, I've only got like a hundred pages left of Clockwork Princess to read. I think I'll finish it before I make this video. I don't know what type of gravity is holding me down to the planet right now, but I'm not okay. And I need prayer. So word of advice, if you think that it's a good idea to finish a very sad book before filming a video, <laughs> it's not. Don't do that. So let's talk books. In the month of October, I keep on wanting to say November wrap up, but I'm like, that month hasn't even happened yet. I read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books, which I guess is okay. Toward the beginning of the month, I'd only read like four and I was like, ah, uh, need more books. And so I was able to get through a ton toward the end of the month. So the books that I read are, I reread Divergent and Insurgent, and then Allegiant when it came out. And my advice for you, if you have not read Allegiant or bought Allegiant or done anything with Allegiant, is don't. And I'm being completely serious. I gave the first book, Divergent, four stars. This was a reread, like I said. I just don't really see, like, the huge hype behind it. I think it's okay. And this has minor flaws to me that I could probably point out in a review, but I'm too lazy to. And then Insurgent, I gave five stars. I think this one's a lot more realistic, so I liked this one a whole lot more. And Allegiant, I gave three stars, because d did we really need that? Did we really? And I don't really think it's a good wrap-up to the series, so that's why I didn't really... Enjoy. I'm wearing my moon sweater again. The next book that I read is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpa Fitzpatrick. I've been meaning to read this for a long, 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 long time, and I've actually started this book like five times and put it down, so I have like the beginning of this memorized because I always read it and then stopped, so I finally pushed myself all the way through it this month. This is just a sticky note of a part I liked. It doesn't really matter, but... I did like this book. I'm not huge on contemporary just because I feel like a ton of them repeat the same ideas over and over, which this one was kind of stereotypical, like my mom hates me and I'm in so much stress. But I really did like Jace. I think the only reason I like this book is because the guy's name is Jace and um, I like me some Jace. But this was really good. It was a nice contemporary. So if you're like me and you don't really like contemporaries all too much, you might enjoy this. Then, as I said, I was getting really slow in the reading department, so I wanted something just kind of fast to get through and be all, like, quick and short. So I picked up The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album, and I love Mitch Album so much. This is my second book I've read from him, and he never fails to impress me with his writing and his ideas, and just the way he thinks is so awesome. And I love this book so much. These next two books I got from the library, so I don't have them anymore, which is an issue because I want to hold them up and smother them with love because I enjoyed both of these books. I read Clockwork Prince, which is the second book in the Infernal Devices trilogy, which I have right here, the first and third book for. And this one, at the first book, I only gave four stars and I was like so ready to love this series, but I read it and was like... It's okay. I was very saddened by that because I wanted to love this series, but I ended up just kind of liking it. Well, I guess I more than kind of liked it, but I was kind of upset that I didn't like it more. Like, I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite, which I was expecting from it. But Clockwork Prince was better than the first one, and I gave it like 4.99999 stars. It was good, but I couldn't bring myself to give it full credit because I disagreed. Not disagreed with some of the ideas, but some of the things just didn't sit right with me. I don't know if that made sense. But then I read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and this is my new favorite book of 2013. Maybe other than like Unravel Me or something, but seriously, that book is my biography. It's terrifying. I cannot explain the amount of like fear I was experiencing because I would be like, that's me, that's me, that's, she has an antlin, 
I have an Aunt Lynn, and if you're watching this, Aunt Lynn, hi. Anyway, but it was just so freaky, and it was me, and it was so good. I cannot explain to you how good it is. But I did do a written review of it because I recently activated a Tumblr account. Yay, Tumblr. So my Tumblr is wittynovels.tumblr.com if you are interested in it because I'm doing like written reviews there and I'm reblogging a bunch of fandom stuff. So if you like books and you like written reviews, then check my Tumblr out. I'm gonna have a Tumblr link and then a specific link to my fangirl review that I did there. Um, I have a written review there, like I said, and I kind of further go into the reasons why I loved Fangirl. So if you were interested in seeing that, again, it'll be linked below. And then there were like four days left in the month and I was like, mm, I need something to read and I need something quick and fun and night, night, nice and light. So, me and Manuel, I'm probably still pronouncing his name wrong. He had asked me if we wanted to do a little read-along thing, and I was like, yes, yes, books is what I do. So we agreed that we would read the archived, and then we read this together within a two or three day period. He liked this book more than I did. I liked it, I gave it like a four stars, and he gave it five stars, and he really loved it. And we're both going to review this soon, so if you want to have a review of someone who really loved it, then you should check out his channel, Book Hunter 155. He'll probably have a review up on it soon. If not, already up. I haven't checked. And then I'm going to do a review also, but it might be a little bit more critical just because I found more things to nitpick over. But definitely, this is a nice book. I enjoyed it. I want the second one. Let's keep flailing it around. Thank you for watching, doodles. I know you saw it, so I'll play it for you.